How's it going everyone? Welcome to Total Repair, where we focus on repairing, restoring, and upgrading electronics. Today, we'll be discussing the ReSaturn, a replacement power supply for the Sega Saturn. Let's jump right into things. This is my Model 2 Sega Saturn. Around two years ago, I noticed a few screws had fallen off the back of the console, and when I picked it up, a rattling sound could be heard coming from within. I decided to open it up and determine what had come loose, but when I lifted the top of the shell off, I immediately noticed that the AC input on the Saturn's power supply had begun to melt. After poking around some more, I found a few loose pieces of plastic rattling around in the case that had fallen off of the Saturn's power supply that seemed to be responsible for holding the lost screws in place. With all this in mind, I determined it was time to replace the Saturn's power supply and I was off to the internet to find a new one. I started by searching eBay for the exact model I pulled out of my Saturn, but I quickly found that Sega used many different power supplies during the lifespan of the Saturn, and there weren't any listings for Saturn power supplies on eBay. With no luck finding an original Sega power supply, I began researching my options for an aftermarket replacement. The first option I found involved using a tiny 24-pin ATX power supply and a custom adapter to connect it to the Saturn. Like any ATX power supply, these Pico power supplies are designed with a PC in mind but custom adapters that convert the output for other purposes are all over eBay. I decided against this because it seemed like a stopgap solution instead of something specifically tailored to the Saturn, and the quality of these parts can vary greatly from seller to seller. Next, I found an Indiegogo campaign for a custom-designed Sega Saturn power supply, the Saturn PSU from Retro PSU. This seemed to be exactly what I was looking for, and the designer had a good track record with their previously released Dream PSU for the Sega Dreamcast. The campaign had already closed by the time I found it, so I decided to wait until the power supply had been publicly released before picking one up. Unfortunately, this product never came to market due to production issues outside the scope of this video, leaving backers empty-handed and frustrated. As a result, Retro PSU decided to open source the designs of both the Dream PSU and the unreleased Saturn PSU, leaving me with a glimmer of hope that someone else could begin producing them. This too never happened due to concerns with the stability of the designs. Seemingly out of options, I set my Saturn aside and walked away from the problem for a while to focus on other things. Almost a year later, I was cleaning my office and found my dead Saturn power supply in a drawer, renewing my interest in finding a replacement and reviving my fallen console. I began by searching for new developments in the Saturn community to see if anyone had fixed the design flaws with the Saturn PSU or if any alternatives had come to market, but nothing turned up. I then fired up eBay, curious to see if any OEM Saturn power supplies had been listed since my last search, and to my surprise, a new aftermarket power supply for the Saturn from a seller in the UK turned up instead, the ReSaturn PSU. Excited, I scrolled through the item's description and ran a Google search to see if anyone else had used it before, but I couldn't find any mention of it anywhere within the first few pages of search results other than an eBay listing and a WordPress site run by the seller. Lacking the usual confidence gained by reading other people's reviews, I messaged the seller, Rexu Repair Zero, who will be referred to as Rexus from now on, to ask if the ReSaturn PSU was based on the open-sourced Saturn PSU designs. While waiting for the seller to reply, I remembered that eBay allows buyers to leave feedback on a seller, so I checked Rexus's feedback and found it was 100% positive. Rexus replied quickly, considering the time zone difference, and informed me that the ReSaturn PSU was an original design they had been selling for a while, so with my doubts cleared, I placed an order. Finally, after a month of shipping time to reach me in the US, the ReSaturn arrived. Included in the box with the ReSaturn is a cable for connecting the ReSaturn to the VA0 model Sega Saturn, another cable for connecting the ReSaturn to the external DC power input, and a plastic backplate to affix the DC input jack to the back of the Saturn. My initial impression of the ReSaturn was good. It felt sturdy, looked cleanly and professionally manufactured, and the components on board looked high quality. The ReSaturn takes a 12 volt DC input from an external AC to DC converter like this one. Rex has sent me a few links to suggested compatible power supplies for the UK and I was able to find a similar option for sale here in the US. Before installing the ReSaturn into my console, I wanted to test its capabilities and give my Saturn a thorough cleaning, so I disassembled it off camera and got to work. While the Saturn was apart, I grabbed the power switch and a multimeter to give the ReSaturn a proper testing before installing it to see if it operates as good as it looks. 
First, I tested the AC to DC adapter I had purchased to make sure it was outputting the desired 12 volts the resaturn is expecting. Next, I plugged everything into the resaturn and flipped the power switch and began testing the power outputs on board. To accommodate the various Saturn revisions, the re-Saturn has a large header with five pins, which is used by most models, a smaller header that connects the included cable for the VA0 revision, and some jumper pins that can be toggled to change the voltage output of a few of the rails. The first two connections on the header are ground, the third is either 3.3 or 5 volts, the fourth is 5 volts, and the fifth is either 9 or 12 volts. I tested each of the voltage configurations via the onboard header as well as the external VA0 header and everything seemed to work as advertised. With the initial testing out of the way, it was time to see how it operated in the Saturn itself. I reassembled my Saturn to where it was before and then read over the installation instructions on Rexus's website. The first step was to check my old Saturn power supply to determine what voltage it was outputting and then set the jumper pins on the re-Saturn accordingly. In my case, the old power supply used 4 of the 5 pins on the header and the third pin was 5 volts, so I set the Resaturn's left jumper pin to 5 volts and the right to 9 volts as we won't be using it. Next, I pushed the Resaturn onto the 4 pins sticking up from the Saturn motherboard, making sure to align the pins so that the 5th slot in the header was unoccupied and the screw hole on the Resaturn lined up with the post on the console. After that, I screwed it in place and connected the power button and power input cables to their respective headers on the re-Saturn. The installation was complete and ready for action, so I pressed the power button with no hesitation and the Saturn came to life. While the Saturn was powered on again, I tested the voltage output on the re-Saturn's main header to verify it was still providing the correct voltages while under a basic load, and again, the re-Saturn passed with flying colors. To finish the installation, I attached the power input jack to the included backplate by unscrewing the washer and nut from it, then placing the nut on the side of the backplate that will be facing the back of the Saturn and screwing the jack into it from the other side. At this point, I realized I forgot to install the small piece of clear plastic that sits below the Saturn PSU during my post-cleaning reassembly, so I quickly took the re-Saturn PSU out, installed the plastic, reseated the re-Saturn, and then took a moment to neatly route the cables to the re-Saturn. With the installation and assembly fully complete, I put the top half of the Saturn's casing back on and plugged the power supply in for one last test before screwing everything back together. The hard part was out of the way, so I popped in the game and went over my thoughts. The re-Saturn works very well and is likely league safer than the stock Sega power supply. It uses a standard off-the-shelf 12-volt AC to DC adapter as its input, which means you won't need to track down any special cables should you need to replace your adapter. The installation process was an absolute breeze, and Rexus's instructions provide plenty of details for those who might be unfamiliar with electronics, the Saturn, or both. The re-Saturn costs 36 British pounds, which converts to about 45 US dollars at the time this video was made. This price could seem a bit steep for some, considering you will also need to purchase an external AC adapter, but the quality of the product speaks for itself, and you would be hard pressed to find a replacement Saturn power supply otherwise. A used Saturn can go for 60 to several hundred dollars depending on condition, and the 20 year old power supplies in these units will likely need replacing at some point, which makes replacing the power supply in a Saturn you already own cheaper in a lot of cases. Lastly, Rexus was extremely helpful in the eBay messages we exchanged and answered all of my questions, provided suggestions for AC adapters to use, and made sure I got the correct backplate for my model of Saturn. With all these factors in mind, I would definitely recommend the re-Saturn PSU for anyone looking to replace a faulty Saturn power supply or extend the life of their console. Alright, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for sticking around till the end. If you are interested in the re-Saturn or anything else I talked about today, I will leave links in the description below. See ya!